Hi, in this video we will see about uh, equilibrium and conditions of equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium and conditions of equilibrium. Conditions of equilibrium. Now let us see what is the meaning of uh, equilibrium. For that, I will consider. I'll take a small example. I'll consider a rectangular lamina. A rectangular lamina, which is applied by a force of uh, 10 kilonewton. Okay, 10 kilonewton. Now, if I apply a force of 10 kN to this lamina, no? assume that the lamina will move in the direction of applied force. It will change its position from one place to another place. Now, for the same lamina, if I apply a force of same magnitude of 10 kN with opposite in direction, what happens here in this situation even though the forces are applied to the body the lamina or the body remains in static condition okay remains in static condition similarly if i apply a 5 kilonewton force in downward direction if i apply one more 5 kilonewton force in opposite direction though the forces are applied to the body body is is in rest condition this is what called as equilibrium this is what called as equilibrium so <coughs> the equilibrium means even though the forces are applied to the body the body will be in rest condition body will be in rest condition okay there is no translatory effect here there is no translatory effect there is no change in position of the body from one place to another place even there is no rotational effect even there is no there is no any rotation caused to the body due to these applied forces therefore equilibrium means it is the state of a body in which the body is still in rest condition even after applying the external forces okay it is a body in which there is no translatory effect and rotation rotational effect even after applying the external forces okay a body is said to be in equilibrium when there is no translatory effect and rotational effect even after applying external forces okay so this is about equilibrium coming to the conditions of equilibrium okay now we will find sigma fx we will find sigma fx what is sigma fx sum of forces in x direction we have to add all the forces acting in the x direction so there is 10 kilonewton force acting in right direction plus 10 10 kilonewton force acting in left direction minus 10. What is the answer? It is 0. If you find sigma fi, sigma fi, sigma fi is equal to sum of forces in y direction, again it is plus 5 and minus 5, it is also 0. Now I will take one point here, point A, okay, and let me take this distance as 2 meter and 2 meter, this distance as 3 meter and 3 meter. Okay, now I will find the moment about A, sum of moments of all the forces about A, point A. What is the moment of this 10 kN force? 10 into 2 and it, it will cause clockwise moment sin is plus. And moment of this 5 kN force, 5 into 3, 5 into 3 and it will cause anti-clockwise moment about point A minus sin. And moment of this 10 kN force, 10 into 2 meter and about point A it will cause anti-clockwise moment sign is minus and moment of this 5 kilonewton force 5 into 3 meter and about point A it will cause clockwise moment sign is plus if you calculate the answer again you will get 0 so this is what the these are the equilibrium conditions or conditions of equilibrium the first condition of equilibrium means is algebraic sum of forces in x direction is equal to 0 that is sigma fx is equal to 0. Second condition is algebraic sum of forces in y direction is equal to 0 that is sigma fy is equal to 0. And third condition 
the algebraic sum of moments of system of forces about the point is equal to 0 that is sigma m is equal to 0. So these are all the conditions of equilibrium. So we will be using these conditions of equilibrium to solve the problems. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thank you.